Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina and today I'm going to be doing your September 2020 Love Tarot reading. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. I'll lay your cards down. I will put up a photo as well for you guys to see what we pull and then we're going to get right into it. I'm going to pull two layers, but we're going to get into the first layer right now. Just give these a few more shuffles. We'll see what's happening for Taurus. September, September 2020 love. All right. The situation. What's challenging you? All right. How do they see you? How they feel about you? What action do they want to take towards you? How you see them? How you feel about them? What action you want to take towards them? And then the near future outcome. All right, we're gonna pull one more card and then I'll update this photo as well. But at the very center of your reading, guys, I see some stress here for sure. There's some stress, a little bit of anxiety here because at the very center of the reading, we have the Nine of Swords when it comes to this relationship. You're stressed out about something. There's some fears, there's some worries, just like painful memories um, that you replay in your head. You know, the things that keep you up at night, you know that. Um, what's challenged is we got this Ace of Pentacles here, guys. So it's here for you. This opportunity to manifest something brand new when it comes to the situation, to materialize it. It's here. It's just maybe you're not being able to see it because of this Nine of Swords energy. Um, but let's get into it because, you know, with how they see you and how they feel about you and what action they want to take towards you so far, it all looks really positive. Um, but you see them as wanting to walk away. You see them as this Eight of Cups. Curious, that's why I want to pull another layer here. Because when I look at the way they're looking at you, the way they're feeling about you, it's looking really positive. And there is an Ace of Pentacles here. Um, the Ace of Wands is here too. So there's a lot of real potential. There's a lot of real potential for a reboot and to materialize it. It'll take work, but it's here, the potential. All right, let me pull a little bit more. Another two. the situation what's challenging you all right how they see you how they feel about you okay what action do they want to take towards you how you see them okay how you feel about them what action you want to take towards them and then the near future outcome I knew you have to pull a second card sometimes we'll get into it but the near future outcome we had the five of pentacles and I was like oh gosh I wasn't happy to see it of course um, but then clarifying it we got the star so we'll talk about that of course all right as the situation here the stability and I don't know what happened I don't know what happened between you two I can't like I don't see like any like backstabbing I don't even see a lot of swords there's a lot of wands here so I feel like was there just a disagreement in beliefs um just a general growing apart a little bit um i mean of course there's because we have the nine of swords here so there are some stresses maybe some regrets right some things like that but it doesn't feel too heavy because we have a lot of wands here so i'm feeling like just just like different valuing different things maybe just seeing the world a little different um but anyway the stability and the security in this relationship is stressing you out we got the king of pentacles and we have the nine of swords and all the investing, all that you've put into it, there's something that's stressing you out with that King of Pentacles, right? Because um, this guy invests, right? He invests everything. He's hardworking, he's committed, he's dedicated. He knows what's, it's important to show up every day. So he really, and like he really cares about his assets, including the people he loves are his most important asset. And he's a secure, stable guy, right? He's like ruled by Taurus here. Um, and I feel like, you know, it's kind of you just being stressed out this month about this situation. Um, but I don't think you have to be based on the cards. And usually with the Nine of Swords, honestly, they are just fears. I, I don't think they ever really are real. I mean, they're real as we feel them, but a lot of times they're just illusions. Um, we're probably harder on ourselves than we need to be, right? Like the character's got like his head in his um, hands. He's just really stressed out. And then again, challenging that is the Ace of Pentacles and also the Page of Pentacles. Seeing it, you gotta see it. You gotta see the potential. It's here, it's here. <clears throat> I think, <clears throat> I think the stress is making you think somebody's walking away, when they're not. Nobody's walking away. No one. Uh, not not in this reading. Not who this is resonating with. 
they're not walking away. That being said, with how they see you, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So they're seeing the potential. The Ace of Pentacles that you're not seeing, this person is seeing, Taurus. They do see it, so it's really interesting because they're seeing it with you. They can see the direction change. They can see the potential. They can see it. Like, they've got the world in their hands. They're like, we could do anything together. That's how they're seeing you. They're holding this pentacle up. They're like, okay. They're really ambitious about it. Like, oh my God, this has a lot of potential. I really want to grow this. I really want to develop this. And that's how they're seeing you. You know, they see you as somebody who's got the world in their hands too. Like you've got like, they see you as limitless potential with them. It's really positive. Something happened for sure though. There is like some amends that need to be made because the Nine of Swords is not here for no reason. It's so much so that it's making you feel like they're, they're walking away with that Eight of Cups, which they're not. But justice is here as well. So there is some amends that need to be made. I don't know exactly what happened. You know, the story doesn't go there with this, but there's amends that need to be made. But anyway, they see you. We got the Page of Pentacles. We got the Two of Wands. How they feel about you, we also got the Two of Wands. You know, they see a future with you. They see a future that has unlimited possibilities with you almost. Like, it's really like just so much potential with you. Um, they're ready to step out of their comfort zone with you. You know, that's how they feel about you. But we also have the Five of Wands. So there's a little bit of inner conflict. <clears throat> the Five of Wands, any five is really temporary. It's really temporary, but it is here right now. They're a little conflicted about maybe how they're going to put these plans into action. You know, that's probably what it is because the two of wands, he's planning, but he hasn't yet stepped out of his comfort zone. He hasn't yet put them into action, but it is direction change and they're just a little conflicted. Maybe how are we going to do this? Uh, but nothing major. Again, it's a temporary, temporary energy. It doesn't even feel strong. <clears throat> what action do they want to take towards you? So we have the king of wands. And we have justice here. They want to right some wrong. They want to even the scales. Right? They want to do the right thing. They want justice. And with the King of Wands here, this is a bold leader. He takes bold actions to get what he wants. He has integrity. Make no mistake, he won't. He doesn't win at any cost. Definitely not. But he will take bold action. He'll be creative in it too. And he's very charming. He's a natural leader and he can get people behind him as well. But it's like, he wants to take bold action with you to get that justice. They want to right this wrong. Something went wrong here and both of you want to write it. But I feel like you guys need to talk to each other. I don't think you guys are talking to each other. And I feel like that's why there's some miscommunication here. But like that's why you're thinking they want to walk away when it's, it doesn't show here in the spread. Not at all. They want to grow with you. They see it, the future with you, absolutely. They don't want things to be the way they are. They want to correct it. They want things to be good again. They want things to be good again. You guys, yeah, you guys need to talk to each other. Find a way. Because I feel like you're both open to it. Maybe you're both just scared. Maybe you're both too busy. I don't know, but it's really interesting. Um, but let's move on with how you see them. We did get the Eight of Cups. So you see them walking away. They're not though. Maybe they just had to take a break. Maybe they're in that planning phase. They're just trying to figure out how do we go in this new direction together, but they're not walking away, but it is how you see them. We also have the Knight of Wands here. So this is a person, maybe they take you by surprise, but he's very adventurous. He's very charming. He's a lot of fun to hang out with the Knight of Wands. So I feel like this is a person that you just have a lot of fun with. They're just, they bring so much excitement and fun to your life like every time you hang out with them they probably make you laugh a lot like just feel good type of energy and you're just seeing them as walking away they're a little impulsive <clears throat> definitely that as well with the knight of wands being here a little impulsive he acts first he thinks later that kind of energy but he's still a lot of fun really passionate energy really passionate energy um and then how do you feel about them we got the other ace here we got the ace of wands i mean you, it's a passionate reboot it's a reboot. You see a real potential, real progress here. Um, you see the potential for this to turn out really fulfilling for both of you to be really happy. We also have the Three of Cups here. They make you feel good, man. You know, the Three of Cups talks about being around your tribe, the kind of people who get you, who support you, who you share your stuff with. Um, just, you know, it's enjoying life together. Those are the, they make you feel really good, really passionate. Um, and even romantic man, the Ace of Wands is really good to see on any romance spread because it also speaks of like primal sexual energy coming through. So it looks like that's how you feel about them. So it feels really good. We have two aces here. So it's like really 
both of you are both inspired and motivated to materialize a new beginning. The only thing is, is I think Taurus and Lesbra, you haven't really seen it. That's where your challenge is. And I think they have seen it. And that's why you're still thinking they're walking away. <clears throat> that being said, even though you're thinking they're walking away, you're not ready to. Because um, what action you want to take towards them, you want to take a lot of action. It's so funny because we have both like this really fast paced energy with the eight of wands. It's just like sending so many messages, taking so much action, just like boom, boom, boom. It's like having a lot to say, being excited, coming through really strong. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles. But you're willing, even though you feel like charging in with this eight of wands, you're willing to take the slow route, slow and patient, dedicated, committed, showing up every day, doing the hard work, doing the necessary work, doing what you got to do because it's important to you to build this to last. So it's like, you know, even though you don't see that Ace of Pentacles, you're still holding a pentacle here with the Knight of Pentacles. It's really great. Now, that being said, what's coming towards you guys in your future outcome? First, I did get worried when I saw that Five of Pentacles, even though it's temporary. Yeah, like I said, you guys need to talk to each other. You guys haven't been talking to each other. Whoever this is resonating with, you guys have not been talking to each other. So you're both feeling left out in the cold because you both love each other. Something happened. That's why justice is here. That's why the Nine of Swords is here. My opinion, it's nothing that cannot be amended. Now, it may take time. I'm not saying it happens, but it seems totally worth it. It left both of you guys feeling like this. Feeling alone, feeling rejected by the other. But clarifying that, we got the star healing this energy. It's totally getting healed. You guys aren't going to feel like that anymore. The star is such a beautiful energy. It's feeling regenerated, feeling restored again, feeling happy to live your life again. It's kind of like Major Arcana, Ace of Wands in a similar way, but it's just, and it also speaks of wishes fulfilled, but this energy is shifting out. It's getting healed. It doesn't happen overnight, but it is getting healed, guys. Um, there's two aces here again. Justice is here, so things will be corrected. They will be corrected. There's just some fears here, and that's because you guys love each other a lot. That's why. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Taurus. Really good reading. Um, if anything resonates, please like and subscribe. Of course, thank you guys so much for letting me tune into your energy. I'll see you next week.